Do I get this? Margaret, the day I touched your cold hand for the first time, I knew we would never love each other. I'm surprised you could actually give birth to a creature as kind as William. Actually, I like to believe life shows the best for him, in spite of everything, in spite of you. I don't have much longer to live. I'm dead already for you. So be it. But I need to write about the future, about William, and about Vesperco. Company? I always think of it as co, but I guess I should say company. I have passed my instructions to my old friend and assistant Jack Winterstone. My father has always wanted that the head of the company would be a Vesper. William, my only heir, is but a child. You will have to replace me at the board, and I trust you will handle it like a true Vesper. I don't trust you, but William still needs his mother. I've asked Jack to make sure he'll never lack anything. He will visit you every week and, he will, and will have all the authority to take my son from you if he notices you do not fulfill your obligations properly. Let me remind you that without my wealth, your family is nothing but a once glorious name swallowed by debts. I can only hope my death will be free, my death will free you from some of that anger, and that it will make you a better woman. Goodbye, Henry Vesper. So I'm trying to think what exactly would let me interact with that ghost. Last time it was a record. Come on. I think I already got that photograph. So I think, based off my past experience with this game, I think when they're sitting somewhere... Okay, that's just the, my turn. When they're sitting somewhere, that means I need to shine a light on them, because they won't move otherwise. You can't really drag them anywhere. I've looked at that plenty of times. So I guess I need to turn on the lights at some point. I mean, that could be after the current fossil. Oh, yep, yeah, that's right. That's right. Was there something else I need to do in here? Oh, that final letter is the one I just read. Okay. Like, I almost feel like I need to interact with her. That body's gotta be so old, though, right? Because... The person talking to Selena grew up since then. That was... William, right? Or I guess I don't get it. It's like, did they bury him and the ghost dug it back up. I still get, like, that's one thing I've been thinking about this in between, like, recordings is... Yeah, I haven't been in here. I kind of want to close this. Or do I? Is... I don't understand what the coffin's for. Like, why are there so many? Towels and tools from the time when the house was wealthy. Open doors were a rare commodity. Like, this feels like a trap. Okay. That, that makes me feel safer. Be able to see the rest of the room. So I don't have the situation where there's a body just in the background I don't, I don't notice. Letter from Dr. Rosenthal. Dear Margaret, I cannot come every day to treat your husband's seizures. As I told you, they are unavoidable at this stage of the disease, and they will get worse. I fully understand your worries, considering the responsibilities of your husband in the Vesper business, which is why I urge you to get ready for the worst. Henry refuses to be sent to the hospital, and joining his family and his home is part of his last will. Let me clear all doubts once and for all. Syphilis is not a hereditary condition passed on through genes, but from a mother to a child through the placential barrier. In other words, it doesn't cross generations. Syphilis killed your father, but you are healthy and sound. Your son is healthy and sound as well. This idea of inherited con congenia congenital God, that's hard, dementia is an obsession, an intellectual construct, nothing more. You are obviously exhausted. You should take some rest, Dr. Rosenthal. Hmm, I was hoping that would be the thing I needed. The smell of the woods outside was an unbearable temptation. Map of the second floor. One problem settled. That's incredibly helpful. It seems crazy that you would actually have a map of your house. I don't know, like, I guess you could find the blueprint. But, <laughs> I know, it's a game. You gotta make that little uh, allowance. So yeah, there's something up in that top left corner, I think. And that's what I'm going to be getting at. It's so hard to see the doors on here, though. There's like a letter. I wonder what that says. Huh. So I'm looking at, okay, there's the bedroom where he's at. Or no, where Selena's at. And the bedroom's still left. I guess, is that a balcony on the top right? That's what I don't quite get. Because I don't see any doors. 
Or was there one in the very top, like north of the room? I might go back and check. Maybe that was locked. I'm trying to make sure I'm familiar. But I think like right now, I just need to keep making my way down the hallway. And what's, so what's on the very bottom left? Like why is it, they're like a very small single line going down. There's another stairway there too. Or a giant spoke wheel, I guess. It's not very clear. See, I like that I can close the door. It makes me feel safe. But now I have to open the door, and it's even scarier because I close the door. Because I'd be so trapped here. Oh, God. No, there shouldn't be... There should not be music playing here. She shouldn't be here. I don't see her. That kid is so creepy in this light. Switch? No, that's a doorknob. Vesper Textile Factory was apparently an important business. I mean... Oh, God, the echo on that. You've been reading all the same stuff I have, dude, so you shouldn't know about it. They haven't actually talked at all about this character. Some untouched food. Someone ate here recently. Oh, that's a lot of black. That's a lot of just like... I don't know, is it meant to be like ink ooze? William Vesper's Diary, excerpt number 18. May 19th, 1928. I was studying in a... Amer Amer I don't know why it's so hard. I know, I can see the word. Amerindian ritual sacrifice when the fuses tripped. I was grabbed and thrown to the ground by shadows, dragged to the storeroom. I managed to toggle a switch. Electricity saved me. Enraged, I grabbed the knife and the mask. I returned to the girl. I sat in her to prevent her from moving and stabbed her for the following her by following my instinct straight in her belly. That sacred matrix. Her white skin was like a moon reddening more and more with each new scar. Then I saw higher art in the making. The work turning from white, the alchemical albedo to rubedo, the red work that concludes the magnum opus. It all made sense. Life, death, the transmutation of matter, and the active tincture of the philosopher's elixir was leaking over me. Intoxicated, I poured her blood to the last drop and bathed in that body as I witnessed life flowing away from it. When I turned back, Luna's silver eye had returned and I was watching from behind the window. Watching us from behind the window. The shadows were silent. I think I'm free. Blood spoke. I found a way to quiet the night. Okay, so I feel like I'm going to keep trying exploring while I talk. I think he's still alive. And either he's crazy or that... Whether or not he actually did it. Apparently, killing people keeps the ghost of it. Oh, God. That scared me. William, my son, that you would see me leaving as I am now is breaking my heart. I admire your courage, and I don't know how to thank you for seeing me as your father all the way to the end, and not as a sick man or a madman. I am tired. My fingers are shaking, yet there are so many things I'd like to still tell you. Death is a terrible thing, William. It makes us weak, cowardly, it takes everything from us. But seeing you growing up was a constant joy for me. Thanks to you, I'm more than a man. I'm a father. I hope I have taught you enough. Do not trust your mother. Listen to her, be obedient, but never trust her. The day you turn 20, you'll become the head of the Vesper factory. Although young, you'll be able to rely on, the pres rely on precious and wise advisors. Always listen to Jack Winterstone. You already know him, and you will learn to appreciate, appreciate how valuable a friend he can be. You, you will be free then, free from her. I need to sleep. If you are ever in doubt, play the piano. I will hear you. Scared. Scared myself. Selena, motionless sentinel, was expecting something from me. Yeah, I got that. So I think he might still be in the house. And I don't know if... Okay. There I look. Ah, uh, I haven't saved at all. Let me... Let me go. Okay. I want to go this way. Just for now. I feel like... The knocking of that was a little too real. Yep, this is the same note. I think he's still in the house, and I think it's supposed to be kind of like juxtaposed, where his father was, wasn't I myself a portrait frozen within the frame of that house? I think, oh, whoa, that, she was different there, wasn't she? I thought I saw, like, more of a face. Anyway, I'm not going that way, so I guess I'm going in the door. I think it's supposed to be juxtaposed that his father was crazy from syphilis, I think they said, whereas he's crazy because he's going through this. Ah, oh, see... The music goes up in here, too. Ooh, that's... that's bad. God damn it. 